Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, Kaho Lang La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakadash. Double honor being to the other apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And Shalom to you, Aki, my dear, is pushing the truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakadash. Okay, so this is going to be a, a you know, a quick lesson, you know, going going into about the name and uh, having faith in the name of the Lord, you have Shemal Shai, you know, and um, you have uh, you have guys out here within there, the uh, community of, of Israel that, uh, you know, they don't push the name, you know, they, they think the name doesn't matter, you know, they, they, they just push the law, but, you know, in order to be delivered, you got to call upon that name. You know, you got to call upon the name of the Lord, the true names of the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai. You know, not Christ, not Jesus, you know, not Yahweh, you, you know, Jehovah, none of those false names. You know, as it, as it's written in the book of Acts 4 and 12, let's snag that real quick. Acts 4 and 12, and Lord's will, you can, you can hear me uh, crystal clear. You know, I'm outside right now, so it's like if there is any uh, pickup of the wind in the audio. But this is Acts 4 and 12, and it says, <clears throat> it says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Right, right, so there's no, there's no other, you know, um, there's no other um, salvation in, in no other name. You know, because the Lord, his name is great, you know. That's why if you, re if you go to the book of Jeremiah, I forgot the, the um, but actually I can look it up real quick, but, um, let me see real quick. I'll make a quick point. Let's put the phone load up. I'm just waiting for this to load up. <coughs> so like there. Give me one second. Bear with me, Papa Kushar. Actually, let me um, cause uh, the signal's not that good. So let me just do right here. Go to the actual app. Let's see. All right, this is the book of Jeremiah 11 and, excuse me, Jeremiah 10 and verse 6. And it says, for as much as there is none like unto thee, O Lord, thou art great, and thy name is great in might. Right, thy name. You know, thy name. You know, the, so the Most High's name is great. You know, none other name under heaven, you know, it, uh, has, you know, because any any other names, you know, besides Yahweh, Shemal Shai, those names are, has no power in them, you know, they're false, you know, and being that the name of the Lord is in, you know, the Pale Hebrew, Yashman Kodash, the holy tongue, you know, the pure tongue, you know, uh, just within that proves that the name of the Lord is great because it says that uh, in, the, in the prologue of the book Sirach, it says that um, there is, uh, there is basically, it, uh, let me just get it real quick, let me get it real quick. Real quick. And now that's the prologue of the of Sirach. All right, and it's towards it's like in the middle towards the end. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Found it. Okay, so this is the prologue to Rock, and it says, "But the same things uttered in Hebrew, and translated into another tongue, had not the same force in them." Okay, so the things, you know, outside the Hebrew, have not the same power as the the Hebrew tongue. You know, tongue mean, meaning language. You know, so so the uh, the Dashman Kodash, the Hebrew, is the most powerful tongue. 
you know, and it, and and it, and it, uh, it would make sense that that you know that the Lord's name would be in Hebrew, you know, because the, the name holds great power, you know, the 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 uh, the, uh, the name believing the name can can bring miracles, you know. That's why we call upon the name of Yahweh Shmuel Shai, you know, you know the the the, the names of the Lord, you know, uh, Yahweh means he exists, he's to be, and how Shai means you know he delivers, you know. So that that so that alone. You know, just just for the proofs, the power that the you know the names of the Lord, you know, um, have you know or possess, you know. But like I said earlier, a lot of guys, you know, they're they're uh, out here just you know uh, throwing the you know just taking the name of the Lord lightly, you know. Hey, but that's why a lot of guys are gonna get judged, you know, just off the fact of them playing around with you know the name of of the Lord of their God at that, you know. But, okay, let's, let's uh, go back to the book of Acts. Read it one more time. And Lord saw this lesson is edifying to the Lord's sheep. Okay, so back in Acts 4 and 12 when it says, Neither is there salvation in any other, you see? So none other name, okay, only Yahweh Shema Shai. But there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved, you see? And that's and that's and that's the, and that's what we and that's what we call upon, you know. You how about Shema Shai? Because before the truth, you know, we, we called, excuse me, you know, we, we called upon other names, you know, like you know Jesus Christ and you know Yahweh, so on and so forth. You know, but coming to the truth, you know, it clicks. You know, and once you hear that name, it's like, oh, that that that, that has to be it. That you know that that is without shadow of a doubt the true name of the Lord. Because because when I came into the truth. And the brothers told me the name of the Lord. I said, what? I said, that's the name. I said, that's it right there. You know, I didn't doubt. I didn't, you know, say, well, maybe something else. No, I know in my spirit that that was it, you know. So that's, you know, the names that we have faith in. You know, the, uh, the names of Yahweh Shema Shai, you know. So got that. And let's get this. This is Psalms. Right. Oh, and that's one thing, too, what, what I wanted to mention, Salakia, you know, and that proves that in these last days, you know, that, you know, that, um, that uh, people are going to be asked, you know, they're going to be, you know, they're going to be through because when all hell breaks loose, who are they going to call on? You know, who are they going to, you know, uh, uh, you know, call on to be protected, to be guided? You know, they can't call on Jesus Christ because that's a false name. You know, that name holds no weight. You know, and calling on Jesus Christ, you know, it, it just keeps you in, in the same spot in life. It keeps you stagnant. You know, it gets you, it gets you fucking nowhere. You see, excuse my language, but that's it's the truth. But calling upon the names of the Lord, you have by Shema Shai, you know, he'll deliver you. He'll protect you. You know, he'll guide you and shield you, you know. Which brings me to this um, chapter. I'm going to just speed right through it. But the point I want to get is verse, like around the, the uh, verse 14. This is Psalms. Uh, 91. This is a beautiful chapter, by the way. Psalm 91 and verse. I'll get to the point. No, but really, but really, you can start at the top. But the point I want to get is to 14, just for time's sake. So this is Psalm 91 and verse 14, and it says, "Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I del will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he have known my name." You see, you have known my name. All right. So the Lord, being that we have the name and have faith in the name, the Lord is going to deliver us. The Lord is able to do those things. You see, that's why it's power in the name. Going back earlier to the book of uh, the prologue of Sirach, you know, no other language, you know, if it's not the Hebrew tongue, it has no, no power. It has no, no, uh, no force in it. You know, it has no, it, it, uh, it holds no weight, you see? So that's why we confidently and boldly, you know, preach in the name of Yahweh by Shema Shai, by Shem and and, 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 and 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 stand stiffly for that name, you see? That's why I'm taking that just the second chapter, around like the 42nd verse, it says that, uh, uh said that, uh, you know, the, uh, the man of the Lord that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord, you see? So back in Psalm 91 and verse 15, and it says, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. Right. So 
when you call upon somebody, okay, like for example, if you're trying to get somebody's attention, you know, and say if a guy's name is, you know, uh, uh, John, you know, and then you call him the wrong name and say, you know, Junior, he's not going to answer you because that's not his name, you know? So how much more the Most High, the Heavenly Father? You have to know his name. You see, his great name, okay? And it says, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. You see, so, so, so guess what, man? The Lord is always with us. You know, the Lord has angels around us that can't both round about us, you know, that, you know, that, that fear the Lord. You know, so the Lord is always with us. How I said, you know, um, he said, uh, there will I be with you always, you know? So, so even though how is not here physically, he's here in spirit, man, you know? Yahweh, and, and best believe that he's coming back to, to wage war and righteousness. Best believe that, man, okay? So the Lord is always going to be here. You know, the true name, the, the true names of the Lord is indeed Yahweh by Shimi Shai. You know, and like I said earlier, I'm going to say it again. You have guys that uh, th throw the Lord's name around like it's a joke, you know, like it's, you know, a, a game. But, but, but you can't even do that in the world. You know, you play around with somebody's name, they'll get, they'll get upset, you know, call them by the right name. You know, you can't go into a job and, and you know, and, and uh, call your boss a whole different name. He, he, he's not going to answer you or, you know, or, or he's going to probably look at you funny, you know? That's why the name was so important, man. That's why you have to have the right name. You see? Now we got that. Now let's get this in Sirach 2. All right. Back to Sirach chapter 2. Man, this whole chapter is amazing. But, look, but, but like I said, for time's sake, I'm going to get to the point. And the point I wanted to get at is verse 10. But really, but really, if you know, if you read it in your, in your own spare time, you know, uh, you can start from the top and read all the way down to like, well, to the whole chapter. It's like 18 verses, you know, but I'm going to get to the point. So rock two and verse 10, and it says, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Right. And the answer to that is no one, nobody, you see. So. If we continue to call upon the call upon the name of the Lord, you know, uh, uh, with all faith and sincerity, of course, then you got nothing to worry about. You know, you have nothing to worry about. The Lord is going to take care of the rest. You see, it says that um, you got to catch your birds upon the Lord, man. You know, but, but yet again, you know, you got dudes out here that just preach the law, the law, the law. But it's, but you know, just well, just like Paul said, you know, we don't make void the law. You know, even though we we do the things for, to, you know, the, the law to the best of our ability, but this thing is about faith, you know. And then on top of that, we can even, you know, follow all the laws because we're in captivity, you know. So a lot of guys, they just, they just have to be, man. A lot of guys, man, just, I don't know, man. They just, they chirping out here, man, you know. And, 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 and then one thing, too, when it comes to the name, you got to have faith in that name. You know, not faith in the law, because if you go to the book of Galatians, it, it uh, says that um, a man is justified by by faith and not the law. Let's get that real quick. All right. These dudes be tripping, man. Seriously. And that's why uh, in the book of Jeremiah, before I get this quick preset, I just want to say one thing. In the book of Jeremiah. It says that the, uh, the, the 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 Lord basically took away his great name from wicked Israelites. You know, it said uh, it said you know it said uh, from Judah because at the time you had uh, you had the Judite king. I forgot I forgot which one was ruled at, at the particular time, but during the time of Jeremiah, you know, Jake was going off, man. Jake was the, Jake was just Jake was tripping, man. It was wicked, you know, and the Lord. You know, he took away his name from them. You know, it says that it said the Lord said that I'm going to take away my great name, you know, from them. So 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 it makes sense today why guys that's within the Israelite, the, the Israelite community. It makes sense why they don't call upon the name of the Lord today. You know, because because those because those could be those guys today. The same guys that was back then, you know, doing wickedness and, you know, and, and, and basically, you know, being being rebels towards, you know, 
towards the, the, uh, the Most High and profaning his name. You see? Those could be the same guys back today. Just speaking as a man, of course, you know? But it would make sense, you know? But back in real quick. Galatians 2 and 16. And it says, knowing that a man is not just justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Yahweh Shad Mashiach. Even if we have believed in Yahweh Shad Mashiach, that we might be justified by the faith of Yahweh Shad Mashiach, and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. You see? So, this thing all comes down to faith and believing in the name of the Lord, not believing in the law. Because then in Chico's trouble, you're not going to, you know, be be thinking about the uh, the the uh, new moon, you know, thinking about you know how, you know uh, how many fringes you wearing because it's gonna be all hell breaking loose, you know. It's, it says that we can be pilgrims upon the earth, man. So that's why in these trying times, we gotta have faith, you know, faith in the, faith in the names of Yahweh Shimon Shai, faith in His great name. That's why it says in Jeremiah thirty seven, it says it's the time when Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. And how is he going to be saved out of it? It's, you know, and, and that he's talking about the elect. And how is the elect going to be saved out of it? By calling upon the, the name of the Lord, you see, and not relying on the law, you know? And, and guess what, man? It's that simple. But guys, they just don't get it, you know? So, Lord, as well, you edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai, by Hashem, by Kakodash. And I, and I, I just want to say, call on La Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem. Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that do real and teach well. And shout out to the elect, the 144,000, and Lord as well. This, uh, this lesson was edifying to the Lord's sheep. That being said, shout out.